Hi everyone, welcome back to WebTech Tutorial. Today, I'm going to show you how to download WeChat on your Android device. To download WeChat, go to your Play Store or your App Store and search for WeChat in the search box. Once you find the app which looks like this, tap on the install button to download. Wait for the download to begin and wait for it to install on your device. After the download is complete, tap on the open button to open the app or you can find it on your app list as well. How to sign up for WeChat WeChat is a Chinese multi-purpose messaging, social media and mobile payment app developed by Tencent. It provides text messaging, hold-to-talk voice messaging, broadcast messaging, video conferencing, video games, sharing of photographs and videos, and location sharing. To sign up for WeChat, make sure you've downloaded the app on your device. Simply go to your Play Store if you have not yet and type in WeChat in the search box. For iOS users, go to your App Store and search for WeChat. Download WeChat on your device and once you've done, tap open the app. At the upper right corner, you can change the language setting by tapping on it and choose the language of your choice. After that, tap on the save button at the upper right corner. In order to sign up, tap on the sign up button located at the bottom right corner. Choose whether you'd like to sign up via mobile or via Facebook account. Tap on your choice and move forward. If you chose the phone number option, then type in your name first in the first text field. Now, tap on the region and select your region from the list. You can even search for your region by tapping on the search button at the upper right and type in your region and select it. Now, enter a mobile number and once you're done, move on to the next row where you'll need to enter a password. Enter a strong password and once you're done, tap on agree to terms of service. Finally, tap on the sign up button, go through the privacy policy whatever it has to say and once you've done, tap on I have read and agreed to the terms above. After that, tap next and Start the security verification by tapping on start. Drag the slider below to fit the puzzle piece and you'll be signed up for WeChat. How to log into WeChat business. In order to log into WeChat business account, you'll need to first download the app called WeCom. WeCom is a business communication office collaboration tool developed by Tencent WeChat team. Once you download the app, tap it open and from the very first interface, you can change the language setting by tapping on the languages at the upper right corner and select your preferred language. Once you're done, tap on save at the upper right. Allow WeCom to make and manage phone calls by tapping on allow and allow access to photos, medias and files on your device. And from the options, you can either log into WeCom by tapping on WeChat login or login via phone. Choose your option and since I've chosen the phone option, let me select my country code from the drop down. Once selected, type in your mobile number and tap on the next button. Wait for a code to arrive via SMS and once you receive the code, you'll be logged into WeCom with your phone number option. In order to log in via WeChat, tap on WeChat login. Soon after you do that, tap on agree. Tap on the first button and after a while, on the next page, you need to select your region and tap on the next button. Go through the privacy policy and tap on acknowledge and on the next page, tap on Agree. You'll need to agree to a couple of policies while logging in. Once you do that, you'll need to register your information, that is, register your phone number and your email address. Type in your phone number first and into the email text field, type in your email address. Since it's an optional, you can choose not to as well, but let me just type it in and tap on the next button. And after you do that, you'll be able to log into WeChat Business. How to create group in WeChat In order to create group in WeChat, make sure you have a WeChat account first. From your app list, tap open WeChat application and sign into your account first. From the main chat screen of WeChat, tap on the contacts tab. Tap on the plus button at the upper right corner and from the expanded menu, tap on new chat. Select the contact you want to add to the group by tapping on them and tap on done at the bottom right. With this, you have created a group chat on WeChat. Type in your first text in order to welcome your group member. Once you type in your text, tap on the send button and there you go, your first text to a group chat. How to delete your WeChat account. 
If you're wondering how to delete WeChat account since you no longer need to use the app, you've visited the right place. Now let's move on. Tap open your WeChat application from your app list and make sure you're signed into your account. From the chat screen, tap on the me icon at the bottom right corner of the screen. Now, tap on the settings from the menu, go to account security and tap it on at the top of the screen. Now, at the bottom of the screen, you'll be able to see WeChat Security Center. Give it a tap. On the next page, you'll see numerous of options you can start with. For deleting your account, tap on Account Cancellation. WeChat is now stating that all the data will be lost after you delete your WeChat account. Make sure to read everything carefully before moving on. After you're sure you want to delete your account, tap on Request Cancellation at the bottom. Your account cancellation has been verified now. It says that the following data will be deleted permanently after this action. Tap on Next to confirm and go through what it has to say one more time. Tap on Agree and Confirm Cancellation. After that, your cancellation request has been completed. Now tap on Finish and Log Out. Now it says that your request will be processed and all the data will be deleted within 60 days. If you log into your account within the 60 days period, then you will be logged into your account and your deletion process will be cancelled. Tap on OK and that is it. How to forward WeChat voice messages. To forward WeChat voice messages, go tap open your WeChat application and make sure you're signed into your account. Once you're in, Tap on any contact you want to send the voice message first by navigating the contact section. Tap on your contact and now at the bottom left, when the conversation window opens, tap on the sound wave icon. The keyboard icon will now replace the sound waves icon and the hold to talk button will appear next to it. Press the hold to talk and record your message like you normally do. Make sure to keep holding the button until you finish speaking. Release the button when you are done and the voice message will be sent. While recording your message, if you change your mind in the middle of the message or you made a mistake right now, then you can cancel the message. Just swipe up the finger you've been holding to record button and release it. The message will be discarded after that. You can also play the sent message if you want to. Just tap on the message and your message will be played. To forward the message, keep pressing the message and tap on select from the pop-up. Now tap on the share button at the bottom left, select your choice and tap on the contact you want to forward the text to. Tap on send and that is how you can forward your voice message on WeChat. So how to nudge on WeChat? WeChat has this fun feature of nudging or tickling a contact. If you want to get someone's attention or have a conversation with them but you are tired of typing, then you can use the nudge function. Let me show you how you can do that. Start by going to your WeChat application from your app list and once you're in, from the chat screen, tap on the contact you want to nudge or tickle. From the chat screen, tap on contacts and Select one of your contacts in order to nudge in WeChat. Once you tap open the contact, tap on send message and simply double tap the person's icon in the chat and just like that they will receive a little nudge. This is especially handy if you want to notify a certain person in a group chat or a personal chat. Once you nudge the person by double tapping their profile, this virtually shakes user's profile photo and sends a vibration notification. How to clear WeChat storage From the app list, tap open WeChat application. Sign into your account if you are not signed in yet first and then as soon as you reach the home screen, tap on the me icon at the bottom right corner of the screen and go to settings. Under settings, tap on general from the menu and at the bottom of the screen, tap on manage storage. In this page, you'll be able to see the free space that are available on your device and the spaces that has been used by WeChat and other applications as well. From the bottom of the menu, you can tap on clear cache. Since in my case, my cache has already been cleared, but if your cache needs clearing and you need to get rid of temporary data, then tap on clear. 
And that is how you can clear WeChat data storage within the app. How to reset your WeChat account's password when you've forgotten it and can't seem to remember at the moment. Tap by tap and open WeChat application. In the bottom left, tap on the login button in green and on the next page, select your region in the first field and enter your phone number on the next. Tap on the next button and tap on got it. On the next page, into the password text field. When asked for your password, since we don't know the password, you can log in via SMS verification code as well. Simply tap on the link and tap on the send button in order to receive a verification code and will take you to the next page where you can log into your account. To log in via password, tap on login via password and tap on unable to login link at the bottom left. You have three options. You can log in via mobile and SMS code, log in via QQ ID and password or tap on email linked. If you tap on email linked, you'll be able to reset your password via email. Enter your linked email address and tap on the next button. Go to your mail and check for the instructions. If you still can't log in, then you have last options. Tap on request WeChat account recovery and request for a password reset. After you do that, the result will be sent to your mobile via SMS within 24 hours. Once the request is successful, follow the instructions to log in via your WeChat ID and new password. Tap on agree terms of service and tap on request. After 24 hours, you receive a code on your mobile number. After you receive the code, simply copy the code and get back to the verification page. Simply enter the code and tap on login. On the next page, enter your old password. If you don't remember the old password, tap on forgot old password. Now you'll need to go through another verification process. Tap on send to receive a code which should arrive in some seconds. After that, copy the code and enter the code right here and tap on next. Enter a new password that you want to reset to. Confirm the password by typing it again and tap on the done button at the upper right corner. Now your password has been reset successfully. Tap on OK and you have been logged back into your account as well. How to change your WeChat account's password. In order to change your WeChat account password for your further security, you can just go to WeChat application from your app list and tap it open. From the home page of WeChat, tap on the me icon at the bottom right corner. From this page, tap on the settings button at the bottom of the screen and tap on account security at the top. In the third row, you can see the password button. Simply give it a tap and it will take you to your next page where you can enter your old password and change your password by entering a new one. Go to the first field that says old password and enter the old password for your account. If you don't remember your old password, then you can tap on forgot old password right here and it will ask you to verify your mobile number with an SMS verification code to receive the code, tap on send. Enter the code that you'll receive in a while now. Once you do that, copy the code, enter the code right here and tap on next. Now you have an option to enter a new password. Simply tap on the box and create a password right now. Now on the next field, confirm the password by retyping the same password you just created. Make sure that your passwords must have 8 to 16 characters and contain both numbers and letters or special characters. Once you're done, tap on the done button at the upper right corner and your WeChat password has been changed successfully. Tap OK. You've done it. Now next time you log in, make sure to enter the same password you just changed to. How to block someone on WeChat. Let's proceed further. To block someone on WeChat, first go through your app list and tap open WeChat application. Once you're signed in to your WeChat application, inside the app, tap on the contact icon, which is the second icon from the left in the lower part of the screen. Tap the contact you want to block and this will open their profile. Now, at the upper right corner of the screen, you'll see the three dot icon. Give it a tap and from the list of options, you'll see the block entry. Select the switch by tapping on it in order to activate the switch. Now from the pop-up, confirm blocking by tapping on OK. The contact has now been added to blacklist. To unblock the person that you have added, what you can do is go back to the home screen and tap on the me icon at the bottom right corner. From this page, tap on settings. 
and select privacy under the menu. You can see that there is a block list button. You'll be able to access the block list from this menu. Simply give it a tap and the person you have blocked will be listed under this list. Tap on the contact and tap on the three dots at the upper right corner. Doing this will open the same page where you block the contact. Simply disable the button, wait for a few seconds and the person has been removed from the blocked list or blacklist. That is how you can block and unblock someone on WeChat. I hope the tutorial was helpful to you. If it was, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. Feel free to comment down in the comment box if you have a question or a feedback for us. I'll surely be back with more tutorial episodes. Goodbye till then.